Hello guys welcome back to my channel QVID Vlogs. I am going to show you the top 15 of the 50 best songs of 2020 so far. The first half of 2020 has posed many questions most of us never thought we'd have to answer in our lifetime, including what does pop mean in a world of self-isolation? If pop music isn't enjoyed and celebrated the way it was intended, in communal spaces like concert halls, dance clubs, bars and even private parties, can it even really still be called pop music? The answer, of course, is yes. We've found that in times of quarantine and other crises, music is as meaningful as ever, even just as the soundtrack to such menial activities as doing the dishes, taking a walk around the block or just sitting at home and wondering when or if things will feel normal again. As difficult as this period has been, we doubt we could have gotten by without these songs, and we look forward to making up for lost time with them at whatever point we're finally able to celebrate them publicly. Here are Billboard's top 15 songs of 50 favorite songs of the year so far, with a Spotify playlist. 1. The Weeknd, Blinding Lights. Sometimes the best songs are ones you think you've heard before but from a different artist in a different time. Blinding Lights, is like that. The opening drumbeat is a DeLorean back to Michael Jackson's, Beat It. The amphetamine synth conjures fond memories of leopard print era Rod Stewart's, Young Turks, or maybe that other guy with the avian hairdo. Mike's score from A Flock of Seagulls. And isn't that spooky B-movie organ from Rockwell's, Somebody's Watching Me. Whoa, stop thinking so much, dude, and let Abel Tesfaye's Drambui drenched vocals bathe you in euphoria as you bop around your home in an M95 mask. Punching your fist to the, hey, 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 s, and giving thanks to Max Martin and The Weeknd for making a magical and much-needed tonic for troubled times. Frank DiGiacomo. 2. Megan The Stallion Feet. Beyonce, Savage Remix. Houston, We Got a Problem. When the city's noblest daughters in Megan The Stallion and Beyonce joined forces on the Savage remix, some considered it an anointment, crowning Meg as the premier female rapper in hip hop. With Beyonce riding shotgun, Megan's dynamic single received an extra jolt of rawness when Queen Bey gave her stamp of approval for OnlyFans enthusiasts, Demon Time Warriors, and more. While Bey surfed through the J White, did it beat with calm precision. Megan's husky hook, I'm a savage, classy, bougie, ratchet, remained the backbone for the swaggering track. Ultimately, the Houston connection proved to be timely, as Megan landed her first Hot 100 number one last month with the record. CL3. Harry Styles, Adore You. Though released in December 2019, Harry Styles' fine line grew roots in 2020 thanks to undeniably catchy singles, Adore You, and, Watermelon Sugar. And while lead single, Lights Up, officially ushered in Styles' second album, it's the top 40 friendlier. Adore You, that best marks his place in pop today and scored him his first number one on Billboard's Pop Songs Radio Airplay chart. After all, in addition to a gorgeously crafted hit, there are few things better than having someone plea through pitch-perfect vocals to, just let me adore you. Only a fool would turn down an offer like that. 4. Doja Cat, Say So. Even in a year where Top 40 has been absolutely swarming with disco retro, there's an ease to the throwback elements of Doja Cat's, Say So. That makes it feel the least consciously backwards looking of the year's best floor fillers. The singer-rapper born Amalaratna Zandile Dalamini glides on the beat like she's doing a lap around the roller. Rink, her airy coup and over-caffeinated spitting both matching the sublime guitar chop funk as naturally as. Diana Ross jamming with Nile Rodgers 40 years earlier. Of course, it's not Rodgers but Wukash, Dr. Luke. Gottwald the writer-producer accused by Kesha of sexual assault and other abuse who doges sharing the floor with on, say so, an uncomfortable fact that shouldn't be ignored, even when celebrating what's clearly one of the most irresistible pop songs of 2020. 5. Roddy Rich, The Box. Roddy Rich got an early bid on claiming one of 2020's most popular songs when The Box snared the Hot 100's top rung in January and stayed there 11 weeks. Between the track's hypnotic uptempo beat, brain-sticking hook, I won't never sell my soul. Rich's vocal fervor and squeaky, ee -e -e air, ad lib, which launched countless memes and TikTok videos. The Box was the Compton, Caliph. Rapper's mainstream breakthrough. 
As Rich told Billboard, it just bangs. The 808s hit so hard. 6. Lady Gaga, Stupid Love. Gaga's smart enough to know that after leaving the dance floor for a spell, you don't just come barreling back. In at 11, and her return to Mother Monster territory on, Stupid Love, is a wonder of build and release ecstasy. Opening with a quivering electro-pop rhythm, Gaga matches the nervous energy of the Marauder-esque synth. With a tentative, sweet croon, gradually working her way back up to the full bore rapture of her early days. When she retakes the throne on the throbbing, shouted to the heavens chorus, it's clear she's truly at home. The Academy Awards might be a nice place to visit, and the widescreen ranches of Joanne have charm, but. For species Gaga, Club Chromatica is the natural habitat. 7. Christine and the Queens, People, I've Been Sad. The French singer has long been a master of the depression banger those transcendent pop anthems that are. Equal parts muscle and melancholy yet her simple declarations of solitude here nail the feeling of watching. Days slip by better than anything in her catalog. The chorus also offers a fitting snapshot of quarantine life. By pitching down her vocals and putting herself in conversation with her own voice, she's apart but not totally. Alone. And right now, you definitely know the feeling. 8. Dua Lipa, Physical. The second single from Future Nostalgia opens with a 13-second instrumental, and for that, we should all be grateful. It's just enough time to summon everyone with an earshot to the dance floor and to mentally prepare yourself to give everything you've got for the next three minutes. After that, all bets are off. Thumping bass, well-timed claps and a bursting chorus combine to make a frenetic 80s-influenced jam that pays dutiful homage to the Olivia Newton-John jazzercise effort that helped inspire it. Physical, is nothing short of an adrenaline-filled powerhouse that will rejuvenate any party for years to come. Don't you agree? 9. Grimes, Delete Forever. Wonderwall, at the end of the world, an acoustic campfire sing-along for when the entire planet is burning. Delete Forever, resonates more and more the further we get into the most unprecedented year of many of our lifetimes, not just for its lyrics of extreme anxiety, lying so awake, things I can't escape, and disillusionment. Innocence was fleeting like a season, but for its overall feeling of surrender to oblivion's inevitability. I see everything, Grimes laments, an imperfect oracle to be sure, but one whose visions we can't help but keep returning to. 10. Dixie Chicks, Gaslighter. With, Gaslighter, the Dixie Chicks came roaring back from a 14-year hiatus. The song channels the anger of a woman scorned by her husband, lead singer Natalie Maine seemingly draws from her real-life relationship with ex-Adrian Pastar and perhaps fits best as the spiritual prequel to Goodbye Earl. They haven't poisoned his black-eyed peas just yet, weaponizing their gorgeous vocal harmonies against the man who did wrong. Gaslighter provides a foot-stomping, burn it all to the ground good time. The chicks are still not ready to make nice, and that's perfectly fine with us. 11. B-E-N-E-E. -E -E. Feet. Gus Dapperton, Superlonely. B-E-N-E-E -E -E had already found success in her home country of New Zealand with her first EP of 2019. Fire on Mars but it was follow-up Stella and Steve, and its happy sad song, Superlonely, featuring Gus Dapperton. That would send her skyrocketing internationally. Thanks to a TikTok dance challenge in March, the song entered the Hot 100 in 2020 and brought the 20-year-old's bouncy tune to millions. Though inspired by a breakup and an isolating month spent recording in LA, lines like, I know I f ked up. I'm just a loser, don't sound so morose when matched with the sunny melody, ah, la 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 la, series, the punctuating, I've been lonely, um, ah, yeah. And of course those high kicks in the video. 12. Selena Gomez, Rare. The title track and mission statement for Selena Gomez's most personal album to date, The Failing Relationship. Lament, Rare, is full of the production and lyrical detail that has set the last four years of the pop star's work apart. Saw us getting older, burning toast in the toaster, my ambitions were too high, Gomez moans over subtly. Swinging bass and layered percussion, finding the stability and self-confidence to say what she needs. I don't have it all, I, am not claiming to, but I know that I'm special, she proclaims, a hard-earned self. Affirmation that feels like the culmination of something important for both Gomez and her long-devoted fans. 
13. Mac Miller, Good News. There's a bittersweet feeling when the first posthumous release from an artist as beloved as late Pittsburgh rapper producer Mac Miller is titled, Good News. While new material from the notably prolific artist was a welcome development, its unfinished nature and unavoidable recontextualization would inevitably reopen the wounds of his loss. Luckily, the stunning debut single from Circles provides him the chance to share, albeit indirectly, the knowing reassurance that, there's a whole lot more for me waiting on the other side. 14. Fiona Apple, Ladies. Apple's sprawling, incisive fetch the Bolt Cutters album is peppered with thoughtful musings on her relationships with other women. She cuts the deepest on the twangy, soulful, ladies, a funny and heartbreaking tune about the ways. Manipulative men pit women against each other, which Apple dedicates to the women, I won't get through, too as a result. In between recounting her impressions of various mistresses and ex-lovers, she sings, drawls and belts out the song's title close to 50 times, her tone shifting from droll sarcasm to something like solidarity. 15. Bad Bunny, Yo Pareo Sola. Bad Bunny's version of a female empowerment song is devastatingly simple. At less than three minutes long, Yo Pareo Sola, I Twerk Alone, goes straight to the point. Anti, tu mi pichaba, ahora yo pichio, antes tu no queria, ahora yo no quiero, before you would ignore. Me, now I ignore you, before you wouldn't want to, now, I don't want to, begins a female voice, Puerto Rican artist Genesis Rios, known as Nessie, singing over a sparse drum machine. Those tightly held reins then get passed on to Bad Bunny, who finishes delivering the message with little added accompaniment. This girl dances alone, parties alone, and embraced being single, before it was fashionable. Most importantly, she doesn't twerk for any man, she twerks alone. Now I know. Now you know. Mega shout out all my toes members. Rian and Sakura channel. A dose of the Joneses. Hernandez adventures. Eloise Marie Rossi. Mega love shout out to all supper chatters. Lovely sisters. Sheila Lemon. Grace Holder. Asaware vlog. Phila TV. Rachel Prago. Madam Chime in Scotland. Glenn Cases. Rian and Sakura channel. Amy Aim JP26. Mommy Jen's channel. Inde BB. A dose of the Joneses. Golden Lucas 7. Mayong Vlogs. Ize Prado. Mr. Ma Min Show. Amethyst Blue. Zim Park 36 O. Bobby Q underscore 37 TV. Chona Masongsong. Mr. Serioso. Eloise Marie Rossi. Team Muru. Ninja Ni Rian and Sakura Channel. A Grateful Heart Vlog. Ms. LJ. Shout out to. Hashtag Lovely Sisters Team. Hashtag Budal Official. Hashtag Team Aleling Alloy. Hashtag Team YTC. Hashtag Meg's Team. Hashtag Team Malaysia. Hashtag Team Universe. Hashtag LS Support. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Please like, subscribe to my channel QVid Vlogs. And click the notification bell button for more updates.